Okay, we're here in Idaho Falls with Emma. Uh, she's getting ready for her college season. And what we're doing is hitting flatter balls. All right, she has a in between a semi-western and a eastern forehand grip. So she hits a lot of spin, which is good. But now we're trying to help her hit a big boom also. So you can tell that she loosened up on the eight board. Now she's going over. She's tossing the ball at the 45 and then following through low. You can hear she's getting some power, a little off balance there, but not bad. Just like you're on the eight board and all she's doing is, is swiveling as she hits the shot. So that looks pretty good. She's trying to hit it low. She's trying to hit it flatter. And you can hear the power. She's already starting to get the feel of this. And see, a lot of this, too, is just getting a feel for where the 45 is. Now I'm going to toss her a couple balls. I'm not going to toss them perfect. I'm going to make her move a little bit to get over the ball. Flatter. See, and the hard part, she has never really practiced hitting a flatter ball. And a lot of it is just moving her feet and getting over the ball so she hits it at the 45 degree angle. Then she can turn her core and execute a powerful stroke. So the tip for you at home is make sure that you hit not only spin, but that you hit a powerful flat ball also. If you can do both, then you're on the right track. The only other feature to add then is underspin and then of course the reverse forehand too. So Emma that looks nice. I hope this helps all of your tennis games too.